The centre started in 1990 at a time when there was a reasonable degree of activity in mining and also petroleum. And what we've done is grown the centre in line with the growth of, of those areas, really to support them. We see Western Australia as being a leading centre of mining energy in the world, and we regard it as very important that there are leading professionals, including lawyers, to support that development. The resources sector in Western Australia is going through a very interesting phase at the moment. Western Australia is the largest exporter in Australia of a number of minerals, such as iron ore and petroleum, but we're seeing very significant development in that and we expect when current facilities come online that in fact Australia will be the second largest producer of liquefied natural gas in the world. Not only is there development in that area but also in shale gas where the Canning Basin in the northern part of the state is reckoned to be the fifth largest reserve of shale gas in the world. So we see very exciting times ahead. A lot of um, what we do is basically contract law, but the context in which the agreements and the matters are negotiated is really important. So there are a lot of technical information about, for example, how petroleum is produced or iron ore is mined. And if you understand that, then you go a long way to understanding why things are structured in the way they are. So we're trying to give participants that deep level of understanding and knowledge of how things work. The kinds of people who enrol are very diverse. Uh, we find that there are a number of people who are working in the industry, who want to increase their expertise, but we also get people coming from government, um, and also people who are with other organisations. They're not just drawn from Western Australia. We have a very internationally based group uh, with a number of people coming from the eastern states and overseas. There are two reasons why a practising lawyer would choose to do one of these courses. The first is that they don't have any expertise in mining energy and want to move into that area. The second is that they're already doing some mining in energy law, perhaps uh, with one of the large petroleum companies based in Western Australia, but they want to increase their expertise. And we find that the people doing the courses are a mixture of these. So in fact, it's a very interesting and uh, valuable experience for people to do the courses because they're networking with a lot of other people who are in the industry. A non-lawyer, uh, I think, would also find these courses very valuable, and indeed we get a lot of non-lawyers who do them. Uh, this is because law is a very helpful discipline for anybody working in a corporation. One is having to analyse agreements all the time in that role, and law keeps coming up. We deliver our courses through intensive workshops, which typically take three or four days and we found that the, the participants in those really enjoy them because they're very practical. What we do is we interleave legal sections with sections from geologists and engineers and others to give the commercial context because the commercial context is really important in understanding the law relating to oil and gas and mining and the environment. And we also find that the participants really enjoy networking and working with other participants. So we have another, a number of formal sessions, but we also have case studies where people work together in groups to resolve problems. And those problems are always very current and very practical. <laughs>